Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as we are playing with our Luzi Nyon Dynasty roleplay uh, series. We ended this this uh, last episode uh, with the realm map and one thing I really don't like about becoming the Latin Empire here rather than France is that we have this brown color rather than the, the typical French blue. Uh, so yeah, I don't like that. At least the direct vassals are still shades of blue though, so I guess there's that. Uh, but yeah, real shame uh, that we're the brown color now. So. We ended last episode on me saying that we were going to search for Smith again. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and we're going to have, I think we're going to do a armor. Uh, yeah, let's do an armor smith. I don't think it makes a lot of sense for a character to be getting weapons and stuff. Uh, though I guess weapons can be used on the will of God, uh, crusades and stuff. During a particularly heated argument in the council, you step in as Duke Centul of Burgundy was making a fool of himself. You manage to soothe the debaters and win the argument for him. This turned out to be a great move on your part, as he is now as Phil's indebted to you. So, the Duke of Burgundy now owes us a favor. All right, excellent. I don't know what precisely we would use that for. Um, maybe he doesn't have any children. Um, I don't know who his, his heir is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not saying... I don't know what exactly we'd use that for. Maybe a call to arms or having to join a faction if we decided to... That ended up ever happening. We probably won't ever use that, honestly, because... Character's fairly old. Uh, it does seem that there is now a war against England again? Yes, that's what it would appear. Uh, there's also a new king in England as well. Yeah, this is a different king from the last time we looked. I think it's a different dynasty as well. England is just flip-flopping between the dynasties at this moment. Uh, all right, well, so there's a war against England. Uh, so <laughs> I really wanted to, I was gonna try and see if he could uh, declare war for one of these these provinces for us. Um, but yeah, now, unfortunately, we're already at war. Now, there's really nothing we do. We couldn't join his war if we wanted to and get the benefits that come with that, but yeah, we're not gonna do that uh, at all. And my marshal has told me about a remarkable armor smith. All right, yes, fine idea. Let's hire him, invite him to the court. Uh, so uh, I'm in need of protection. Make me a strong and sturdy set of armor. And the armor will provide a moral offense, as well as martial, personal combat skill, and monthly piety. And of course, this is something that we're mainly doing for our son. This will be a gift to him when we die. Order the set of armor. The set of armor will increase. Okay. So that'll cost 100 gold. And as I was walking towards Master Yves, the Yves's, uh Smithy, I could not hear the sound of pro Okay, so this is one of the events I talked about before, where you can have like a friend and stuff uh, be in here distracting him and shit. Uh, and if you say there is no harm in him taking some time to help him out, then he will gain a point in stewardship, and of course both of them will be more pleased with us. Uh, but if we do this, then we get a 10% chance, plus we get prestige, we get a 10% chance that the thing's gonna be a little bit better. Uh, and I think that that's more fitting. We're certainly a kind person, but we also, we're diligent. We expect people to do their job. And we hired him to do his job, not to teach this guy here. Uh, I know he's our friend and all. Um, but yeah, I think that this makes a little bit more sense uh, with our, our, we're an old man, the type of guy who expects people to do what we, we hire him to do. Uh, so I'm going off the diligent trait. You could also use the kind trait and say that we'd pick this one. Uh, but either way, I think either, either of these works for our character. So we'll go with that one. I often go with the other one, uh, just because it's usually one of your children that he's helping out. Uh, so he did finish. Um, I've been waiting for it as a delightful and elegant set of armor. I'm excited to see uh, I'm excited to see it goes beyond my original expectations. Uh, so we get the chainmail armor. It might be a higher level maybe because of that uh, choice that we made. And we'll take a look at it here in a second. And what is this? Quest Council support from the Duke of Flanders. He continues to bother me about that. Uh, I'm not interested in it. Uh, so yes, that's right. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at our new armor and see how it looks. Uh, so this is the chainmail armor. It does increase our prestige, our martial, and our personal combat skills. Okay. I'm tempted almost to give it to our son. Uh, to send it to him and make sure he lives. Uh, we have finished up the stables as well. So once again, we're going to have more army levies. Uh, and our court position has some ideals with us. Um, well, I think he might do a little bit better than the last one did. So yeah, we'll go ahead and support that. He has a much higher skill. Oh man, there are some massive armies here, man. Yeah, this is, I'm glad that I didn't get involved. I don't see France winning this one. I don't think that's going to go well. Uh, so I have decided to institute the slightly tax-focused uh, Burger Obligations Law. All that is needed is the support of yourself and my loyal vassals. Um, yeah, I, I approve that. That's fine. It requires that the, the burgers, uh, you know, that basically the towns, uh, give more money uh, over levies. And did our bishop die? 
Yes, it, yep, CNC dies of, died of cancer. All right, so he's no longer the court chaplain, which means we need a new chaplain. And we'll also need uh, to appoint uh, somebody to the, the next bishopy position. Uh, so let's place, I mean, he has the highest skill. Yeah, let's place him. Uh, he's our vassal, not our friend though. Yeah, I mean, these ones would be more likely to vote on whatever we wanted, but we haven't had any troubles getting anything through. Uh, speaking of that, we should probably take a look at uh, the things we could pass as well. Let's do cultural tech here. Uh, and then once again, we need to, I suppose the best way to get somebody to a point here uh, would be to invite somebody using devotion, considering the fact that we do have a lot of devotion, there's not really anything else to use it for. So that's exactly what we would do. Let's go and invite somebody over here. And then there's something else I was gonna do. Yes, that's right. We're gonna check the laws because I believe we can pass something here. Uh, yeah, we could make centralization even higher if we so desired. And I think we do. Uh, so we can increase our limit there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I, I was tempted to, to change something here. Maybe we should, uh, but I don't know. You know what? We could easily pass these. Yeah, we could change these uh, since it seems that the realm laws are pretty easy to pass overall. Most people seem to support it. Uh, so these ones are a little bit harder to do. Um, so yeah, I think we will, we'll go ahead and do this. We're gonna do the imprisonment one uh, and it should pass uh, because somebody uh, told me in the comments that when it's a tie, uh, then it does go in your favor. Uh, so we have two supporters and three opponents and then plus we have our own vote. So it'd be three against three. And so from my understanding that should, from what somebody said, that means it should go in our favor, uh, that it should pass. And the monk, Roger, has uh, arrived at my court. He is a wise and noble man, uh, and I will happily receive his counsel in matters of religion and scholarly pursuits. So he's a loyal servant too, uh, so that get, increases his opinion of us. Uh, yeah, he is fantastic. Oh, he's a physician too? Oh yeah, look at that. We could make him our physician if we wanted to. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and hire another guy. I don't know if it's there's a limit on how many times you can do it. You would think not, considering the fact, oh yeah, it looks like there's a limit. I was gonna say you could think not. You would think not, considering the fact that the limit is your devotion. Um, but yeah, it does seem you can't just ask for people. I mean, we could replace our court physician with him, uh, or we could just make him the next bishop. I think we'll just make make him the next bishop. I think that'd be the best option, honestly. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, appoint him. Though it does seem, oh, we do no no longer have free investiture law. Okay, that is a shame, uh, and I don't. Yeah, I think that's a kingdom law. Uh, so it's based on the fact that we are now the Latin Empire. Because, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it uh, since that is a, a realm law uh, for our kingdom, uh, for the Latin Empire. Uh, so just taking a look at what else might have changed here. I think our centralization is a little bit lower than it was before. Uh, we can, of course, have uh, kingdom vice royalties. Uh, yeah, it, it just looks like that needs to be changed to free. Uh, and just about everybody would support it. Yeah, I thought you could ask him to to pass a certain certain law, but maybe I was mistaken, or I'm just, it's just not available because I'm not seeing it as an option. All right, so we won't be able to do anything about the investiture. That's that's unfortunate. But what we can go ahead and do is is change up our court position because this guy is fantastic. Yeah, he is great. Uh, so let's go and change him up. That's a two plus on the on the learning skill. All right, so he will be our new physician, and I have passed that. That law we wanted to pass, so that's excellent. Let me just take a look at when the next law is capable of being passed. And, ooh, nice. We'll have to take a look at that in a second here. Uh, it is 1261, so about five years. Uh, so, the faithful for favor of war. A messenger approaches us with a letter from the Vatican from the Vicar of Christ himself. He's asking us to prepare our men to fight against the heathens and infidels to restore Christendom to the lost place of the world. The Pope wants us to send our faithful Christian men against Thrace. The region is held by the... I don't know what, the Mohammedan Sultan uh, of Rum, and it's time to return to Christianity once more. Uh, yes, uh, we pledge our, our troops to the crusade, of course, and that we need to pick a crusade beneficiary. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oops, I need to select here. And who do we want to appoint? We have a lot more options than we did before. Uh, yeah, a lot more choices. All of these are, uh, I don't even know who most of these people are, honestly. Uh, yeah, I have no idea who they are. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick Princess Isabel, I think. Yeah, she's a princess of Cyprus. Yeah, I think that's who we will select. I think that makes sense. Uh, let's just take a look at Cyprus real quick. Uh, cause remember, we do have our dynasty over there. 
uh, the queen here. She is in our dynasty, and I don't, it looks like that's her sister. All right, so yeah, we will extend our dynasty, hopefully, into the lands, uh, the newly conquered lands. Uh, so, this is going to be beginning in 491 days. I don't know if our character will live through it. I don't know if we'll even go on Crusade. We're, we're pretty damn old, so we might just send our troops uh, without our main character. I don't know, uh, but I really hope that our son decides to go, oh, his wife got fat. Oh, and she's a kinslayer, too. I love that the the game has been changed so that whether or not their fat is reflected in their their portrait, uh, which I think it should be there. This is right there. Because uh, before, it would you would have a character that's beautiful, and then their portrait looks like they're fat, and, and vice versa. Uh, so, yeah, I like that they changed it. It seems that they had a daughter as well. Uh, so they're having all these kids, and, and, yeah, we're not really playing a role in any of this. Yeah, and I really want to be able to influence these guys i think we might actually uh ask to be the guardian here of of them yeah let's go ahead and do that let's see if we can make ourselves the guardian uh yeah i want to be the guardian of our grandson seems that they'll say no child would be a hostage in foreign power all right so that's a shame i guess it's because we're not in the same realm uh, i'm not entirely sure uh, but they will not even though i'm the grandfather they will not let me uh take care of our child that's that's a bummer all right, um, so I guess we're just gonna let this fly. We do need to designate a regent, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do, I guess we could do the mayor here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, we'll do the mayor. Doesn't matter, uh, take a look at what this is. This is council support from Philip. Um, no, no. <laughs> That's the Philip who we removed from, from the throne. Uh, and they want us to donate more to charity. I accept. I suppose we can donate some money to charity. Why not? All right, so let's we'll go ahead and do that, even though we don't really need the uh, the points or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, we'll do it. And this does increase our uh, you know our piety by quite a bit, so it's it's quite useful. And we've gotten the patient trait. Excellent. That's a pretty damn good trait, honestly. Uh, so yeah, we want that. I was in especially invited to my friend's sermon, and it was a catastrophe. The poor man stumbled, lost his words, and it was all an incomprehensible mess. So that's our court chaplain, the blind guy. Uh, so it didn't go well. I did not dare tell him what I thought about a sermon, so I just smiled and nodded nervously while he talked to me. All right. Um, he seemed to like me anyway. He approves of our shyness. Uh, we were too shy to say something about it, apparently. And it looks like uh, these guys have now changed to French culture. Excellent. All right. Uh, so I think they slowly kind of turn into French culture. Uh, so... He's published his work on herbalism and signatures. His ideals about how herbs can be used to treat different ailments based on their resemblance to the parts of the body have been received with much acclaim by scholars. So it was a good investment, increases our prestige, and he now gains the trait renowned physician. Did he not have that trait before? Oh, he didn't have that trait. Okay, thought he did. Uh, so, and we also gained a little bit of opinion with him. All right, so nice, got more prestige. And what is this? He wants to appoint us as the commander. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm willing to accept though, because I kind of want my character to die. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll lead, I suppose. Uh, we're also the master of the horse. We're gonna go ahead and ask our liege for a title again. So far, every time we ask, he says no. But you know, <laughs> I'm gonna keep on asking, and he's gonna keep on saying that. See, I don't know what that means. Oh, wait a minute. Did we die? No, no, we didn't die yet. Uh, the crusade has started. Uh, accepted a call from arms to the Pope. Okay, uh, so the crusade for, for Thrace has began. Uh, so yes, this is going to gain us piety, of course, and we are going to commit our troops uh, to the Holy Land. And you know what? I almost feel like we are going to. Well, we might not be able to lead our troops because we're currently leading elsewhere. Uh, but I was going to say I, I think we would go on crusade. I really wish that we could send our son because he does not seem to be all that interested in going, which is a shame. Uh, and once again, he will not come to court or anything. Uh, for us. Uh, so, yeah, that's a bummer, man. Uh, like, I'd really like for our guy to die right now. Uh, so, what we're going to go and do is let's, let's raise our armies up, of course. We are going to participate in the crusade as usual. And we're going to be sending them across the seas to participate in this crusade. And hopefully all goes well. A saint in heaven. Oh, we got a new uh, saint. Uh, Blessed Pietro was a true exemplar of the Christian faith, living a pious and moderate life. In a grand announcement, Pope Callistus uh, III has decided to canonize Pietro the God-bearing. All right, so he's an inspiration to us all. He's an Italian. All right, he was a lowborn too. All right, not entirely sure who he was. 
Yeah, I have no idea who he was, but apparently he was very pious, so. So we're gonna go ahead and invest in legalism. Uh, put full points into this uh, so that we can get the fully centralized if we so desire. So yeah, let's go and invest in that. Uh, there's a lot of other good choices that we could have went with as well. Uh, and then over here, I think we're gonna do the siege equipment. Yeah, I think that'd be for the best. Let's do the siege equipment. It seems that we have further points, so we can invest into something else. Uh, let's do, I think we're gonna do the cavalry. Or we can do military organization as well. Uh, yeah, let's do military organization. All right, so once again, still just waiting for these troops to get here. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and let's raise up our fleets right now. So we are gonna have to raise our vassals uh, as well. And that's still not gonna be enough. Oops, I wanted to merge those. Yeah, that's that's a shame. We're gonna have to send them in waves. All right, so this should work out here. Uh, and let's go ahead and place our characters. Uh, well, it looks like we actually are gonna need to get some new marshals, apparently. Uh, or not, I don't know why I always call it commander's marshals. Uh, I do it all the damn time. What happened to our good friend that I made? Uh, apparently he died. Maybe I got a notification about that. Uh, the guy that we had gotten on last crusade. Um, but yeah, let's go and appoint, appoint some people here. Uh, we don't really have a lot of good options here, honestly, uh, for leaders. Let me just take a look and see if we can find somebody here uh, on the characters. Oops, what did I do? Did something. Is nobody willing to join the court right now? That's what it seems like. Or at least not of our religion and culture. Yeah, I don't know what entirely happened there. Uh, but I want to sort by our martial skills here. Uh, so Raymond, our kinsman, is in fact willing to join our court. Yeah, I could see bringing him to, to the court. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring him. Invite the court. Yes. Uh, and then I suppose we can bring this guy to court as well. He has very high martial skills or decent martial skills, I suppose. So let's bring him as well. Although he's a craven. Nah, we can't have a craven here. Um, how about this guy? Yeah, we bring this guy as well. Sure, why not? Invite him to court. Uh, and that looks pretty much good. We could also bring this guy, I guess, just to have a few more options available to us. Yeah, we'll bring this guy to court too. There we go. So they should all accept, and we'll move our armies after they get here. All right, there's one, two, and three. All right, excellent. Oh, and we can push a claim here. One leak claim can be pressed. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. We'll, oh, okay, we have people. Those Some of those people we just got. All right, they have claims. Got it. Understood. All right, so we have brought these these characters to our court. Let's go ahead and make them commanders here. Uh, we're gonna want to make all of them commanders. You know what, that's probably good for right now. There's three commanders. Yeah, it looks good. I am gonna go ahead and have our, our main character go, uh, have good old, good old Hugo. Uh, and that's because I feel like, um, and you know what, I don't think he's gonna lead the center anymore this time. Yeah, I think he's gonna lead over here on the right flank. Uh, I feel like, uh, I really want him to, to die, so <laughs> uh, I think it makes sense to, to send him. Uh, and we'll have Raymond, our kinsman, uh, lead from the center. Uh, that's the honor shall go to him. All right, so this looks good. Let's go and have them embark, and then let's send our fleet to the Holy Land. Uh, or, well, not really the Holy Land. Who are we at war with? Where is it? It's, it's rum here, uh, but let's take a look where it actually is. Okay, so it seems right there. Uh, there's also some lands to attack there. Uh, there's still a lot of troops are waiting on to get over here. I don't know if our ships can go through there. I guess we'll find out here momentarily. Uh, oops, thought I had it selected. Apparently I did not. There we go. All right, so we're gonna send these guys over here. It looks like we can go through here, through these straits. All right, so we'll send these 4,000 something troops. A lot of enemy troops here. Um, hopefully by the time we find ourselves actually at war, or actually into the battle, uh, man, there's a lot of people involved in this. Yeah, good God. Let me just take a look at our diplomacy real quick uh, and see who all we're at war with. Okay, uh, so <laughs> a lot of troops over here. Uh, but remember, the the nations of Christendom are sending thousands and thousands of men. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so where is our fleet at? See where they're at. And they're here. All right, excellent. Let's go and place our troops. Uh, we're gonna siege down right here, I think. Oh, well, maybe we should siege over here, actually. 
Uh, yeah, probably further away from the armies would make sense. Although, you know what? It's fine, because we could defeat these guys. So let's attack right there. Uh, my liege emperor, Louis of the Latin Empire, is, is in deep financial trouble. As if my coffers are filled, this seems like a golden opportunity to acquire more land. Um, so, oh, well, look at that. So if we offer him 200 gold, uh, he might give us the, the duchy here. Well, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm definitely willing to do that. Uh, we could also build something, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Let's build, let's build a new keep here. Yes. Uh, how long until we can change up our capital? Uh, well, we can't do it at all because, of course, we're currently in conflict. All right, so we're just waiting for our troops to get off here so we can send. Uh, and we have fulfilled the am ambition to acquire a new title. Excellent. So we are now uh, the Duke of of two realms and did that gain us oh yes that did that gained us new lands uh we have a new count earl guy okay uh so when he comes of age and who's he marrying uh anybody important looks like this duke's uh daughter but yeah not super important uh so yeah this has gained us a new county a new vassal uh and hopefully he likes us uh, he's only 13 years old, so we'll have to see how he feels once he gets a little bit older. So yeah, we've increased our lands even further. Excellent. Uh, so I, now I really feel like he needs to give us these lands. This is under our duchy. Uh, we are in the negative as well on the wealth. Uh, probably shouldn't have built this, and I can't cancel it, I don't think, so we're stuck with it. Um, but we should find ourselves out of the, the negative soon. I think what we'll do, though, uh, I think it would make sense for us to... To get some, we know we can get some money from the Pope. Yeah, maybe he'll give us some money. Yeah, he's willing to give us 234 for a bit of piety. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, that'll be the way that we fix our financial troubles. All right, so let's go and swing on back over to the Crusade. There we go. Let's go and bring our ships back home uh, so that we can get the rest of our troops. It's not a lot. It's 976 men, uh, so that's not a ton of troops, uh, but it'll help. And of course, he did give us the money. Excellent. So that got us out of the hole. No, oh, we wouldn't have. Yeah, we're in negative 15. I don't know, I was thinking we were positive 15. Uh, so we could help out in here, but you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and just focus on taking, sieging these down. Uh, and it does seem that they'll be able to do it themselves here. Uh, so yeah, we are in the crusade, I think, right? We're leading our troops. Yes, uh, we have all our troops here. or have all our characters here. It does seem one of them is not, not there though. Where, why are we not there? Oh, they must have, he must have pulled us. Yeah, I want him here, damn it. Your dedication to religious pursuits? Oh, yes, so we become good friends with our vassal. All right, so we are now on the crusade. Obviously, our combat skills are not great. Uh, and the Pope has died. Oh, no. So there's a new Pope now. Uh, and we've got a message about council support from the Duke of Flanders. They continue to bug me about the damn council support. And we got a special tithe. Excellent. So a bit more money as well. All right, so we're just waiting... Uh, to pick up those thousand men. Uh, looks like our ships are right there. It's going to take them a little bit more time to get here. Uh, still sieging this down here. It looks like we're also getting a little bit of assistance. And uh, the hectic life of a ruler rarely allows for sufficient time for contemplation. I ask you to seclude yourself and think about your life and your actions as sort of penance. Uh, so, yeah, we will We'll do this. We'll do the penance here once we finish up in the crusade. If we even live to see it, of course. Uh, the end of the crusade. We're 69 years old. So it's not impossible that we could die well before then. It does seem that they are now attacking us. Um, well, that's a shame. <laughs> could I get out of there? Ah, but I'm so close to sieging it down. When do they get here? The 9th of October. Yeah, that is. there's no way we'd be able to get out of here in time. Uh, maybe somebody will come assist us. We're going to slow this down and watch the fight. Uh, I do want to make sure that our ships aren't at home right now. Yeah, they are. And in fact, it does seem that we have a very large army here attempting to attack our troops. Um, yeah, look at that massive fucking army. Good God. All right, so let's go ahead and embark the army, and then let's get these guys to come assist us over here. All right, so big battle about to about to happen. Uh, it seems that we keep getting pulled from this, uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, they keep pulling us, so I'm going to have to appoint somebody else here. Uh, we'll appoint Thomas. That's fine. Uh, and that looks good, and hopefully we win this battle. Let's take a look at it. We'll watch it as it goes, and yes, it does seem that we are very much losing, but you know, we're doing better than I thought we were going to do. Uh, yeah, we're doing decent. We took some casualties for sure, but yeah, it looks like we're running now. Alright, so that's a shame. We'll, we'll retreat, 
Uh, I don't know how many troops we ended up losing. Looks like we lost... Um, which side is us? This side is us here. Uh, we lost 2,500. They lost 1,100. Ugh, that went kind of bad. Yeah, lost a lot of prestige and piety as well. All right, well, that's a shame. Um, so what we need to do, alerted by a growing feeling of itchiness, you're appalled to notice the appearance of a bright red rash on your body. Oh, no. We've got a, we got a rash, guys. Roger states that his extensive medical experience leads him to the uh, certain conclusion that you have the measles. He insists that you follow his instructions. Of course, we'll follow your instructions, Doc. Whatever you say. Uh, where are our ships? So we're going to want to bring these somewhere else, probably here now, because uh, I think we're retreating, yeah, retreating over here. So, yeah, let's bring our ships uh, to come help us out. He strapped us to a chair and had you sleep sitting upright for days, and it seems that it was a good, uh, excellent symptom treatment. Increased our health by two. Uh, we're suffering a high fever and a red itching rash has slowly spread across the entire body. You have contracted measles. So he was correct. We do have the measles. All right. So, we're a very old man. We're 70 years old. Death could be upon us. Your court physician, Roger, has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. Uh, my life is in your hands. All right, so our, our troops are almost there. Uh, and we're still waiting on our ships with the rest of the troops. And we feel amazing. And he did a fantastic job. All right. So these, these ships here, let's place them here. And... Yeah, we'll come back over here and have uh, uh, have the uh, troops join us. And that will leave us with... I'm not entirely sure how much that will leave us with, honestly. Because uh, it says 4,900, but I don't think all those are ours. I might be mistaken. Well, it's paused. I was like, why the hell aren't we moving? Speed it up just a little bit since we're waiting on troops. And our marshals come with us a suggestion uh, for Leonard uh, to become a commander. Why? No, I'm sorry. He's a shitty commander. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move our troops over to here, and then we'll. Uh, yeah, maybe they put maybe uh, some of our allies put troops in our hands. Yeah, it looks like that they joined. Okay, yeah, they joined our army. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and bring the rest of the troops on board, and we'll have about eighteen something thousand men here. Oh, they might have left. There we go. Uh, eighteen something thousand men. Let's go ahead and start sieging down a province. Such a bummer that we were so close to getting that province and then we failed. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can't can't grab that province or help out with battles at the very least. I'm not seeing an, a large enemy army for us to fight since we do have 18,000. Well, there is a lot of troops over here. Maybe we'll help fight these uh, troops here. Uh, and the ship, let's bring it over to here for right now. Uh, somebody died. Um, and there's a peasant revolt as well. And yeah, it looks like our chancellor died. Yeah, but that's a shame. Uh, let's see who else we can appoint. I guess we can give the mayor a job. He's not bad at all. Yeah, he's okay. We'll appoint him uh, and also make him happy as well. Uh, so the, the the laws, when were we able to change that? I don't remember. I think it was 61. Yes, 1261. Uh, but I definitely want to change that, hopefully, uh, before we die. Uh, we are dirty as fuck right now, aren't we? Uh, so looks like we're going to fight these guys. I'm not entirely sure who's engaged in this in battle right now. Uh, but let's, um, I think we're going to go and attack here. I think we should be able to win. Maybe. Uh, 16,000 men against... Yeah, we, we should be able to win there. So let's go and engage them. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Oh, there we go. We got another army helping us out. The fever state you've been in, you've been stuck in lately is replaced by new energy. Meanwhile, the rashes are gone. Measles, schmeasles. All right, so we are no longer sick. Excellent. We still have cancer, of course. Uh, we are going to win this battle, it looks like. Dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed, and we've now become close friends with our court chaplain. And victory is achieved! And I think that that was the deciding factor right there, guys. Yeah, that was huge. Um, well, I guess it was only 2.3. Uh, but we did get a lot of prestige and piety from this. So there's that, I think. Oh, well, we weren't engaged in the battle. I was thinking we were a leader. We were not. But the crusade was victorious. Fantastic. Um, so... Uh, it has gained, uh, has been beaten. Okay, so praise be to God. Uh, and look at how much wealth we gained from that. And we got a new sword, too. All right, excellent. We'll have to take a look at that in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and bring our troops uh, back home. Uh, it looks like we lost a lot of men. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. But it was all in the name of God, of course. I feel like it was worth it. Uh, so, first thing I would like to, to look at here is our new sword. Uh, let's see which one we got. We got the French Crusader, uh, which is Faustion. 
and this is pretty good. Yeah, it's decent. All right. So we got a new sword to give to our son whenever he, whenever we finally die. So it seems we have a new option here to forge a bloodline. Focus your efforts to uh, immortalize your name and ensure that all your descendants will share in your fame. This ambition cannot be canceled. Uh, I, I I don't know if that starts once like the uh, like for instance the ruling at peace for thirty years. I mean, how would you rule at peace for thirty years? Building ten cities. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever do any of those. Honestly, like we we might get a bloodline from being a saint, but that wouldn't apply once we died. So yeah, I don't think that makes a lot of sense for us to go go with that. It's interesting that's option. I don't think I recall seeing that before. Uh, so what was I doing? Oh yes, we have lots of money. Look at all the money we gained. Good God! Look at all the prestige and piety. Wow. Yeah, us getting involved with that crusade was incredibly helpful. Uh, so what I think we're gonna do is let's start building with that money. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we can build. We're already building here. Uh, let's go ahead and build here as well. Let's get to keep going. Uh, and then we're also going to want to build, I think, right here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build here. Uh, we get the jousting list. Uh, so this would increase heavy cavalry in our heavy cavalry attack. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that one. It's 689. Interesting. It's quite expensive. Um, you know what? Let's not do that one here. I'd rather do that one somewhere else. Uh, let's do just one of the cheaper ones here. Uh, let's do the do the barracks. All right. So we spent our money. We still have a lot more. Um, we could always get another smith here, uh, and I think that would probably make sense since I don't know what else we'd spend all that money on that we have. We have a lot of money. Uh, could donate money as well um, to like the Templars, and um, that would increase our piety as well. Uh, yeah, I think we'll donate some money. Uh, let's do it's 300 gold, but we have so much money. And excellent, you're welcome. Uh, so that has increased our piety. Uh, anything? Yeah, I mean we had plenty of time to do a damn book, man. <laughs> uh, hold a summer fair. Uh, sure, why not? I, I suppose we can hunt, hold a summer fair. Uh, but first. Oh yes, we have the do penance as well. Yeah, we need to do that one. So let's do the penance. Today my seclu seclusion begins. I have selected a simple chamber in the castle where I spend most of my time uh, during the coming months. Within these, within those bare walls, I shall do my prayers, read the Bible, and contemplate my life and actions. All right. Uh, too little eating turned me into a shell of my former self. I've gained the malnourished trait. All right, so yeah, we, we became malnourished, of course. That makes sense. Uh, so that might end up uh, reducing our health enough that ends up killing us. Uh, doing penance might end up being the death of us. Uh, so, and we can always rejoin the world anytime we want. I don't know when, uh, how long we have to do it for, so we'll keep it going for now. Uh, we could donate to charity, uh, of course, to get more devotion, unnecessary, I think. Uh, anything else we can give our money to, to help out here? Uh, can I still do the summer court? The, the summer fair? No, we cannot. We cannot do the summer fair because we're in seclusion. All right, that's fine. So let's go make sure our troops are moving back home. Uh, seems that, yeah, a little bit more time. And then uh, let's get them let's get them coming home. It's not much. <laughs> it's a small fraction of the amount of men that we sent, unfortunately. Uh, and there we go. We did die. Uh, so it seems doing penance did result in the death of us, although it seems that the cancer is really what killed us. Uh, so we now have a new heir. If the character dies, you'll now play as our, our son, of course. Uh, and his name seems to be different. All right, we're going to take a look at that here in a second. Uh, so we have uh, given up the ghost to age 70. He died of cancer, barely eaten anything. Hugh's, Hugh was known for his weak constitution. Many at court were fearing that his habits would lead to him lead him to an untimely demise for years before his death. Uh, I don't know if our death was untimely. Uh, so uh, Duke Hugh the second, um, yeah... I hate that his name's the second, because uh, yeah, he should be Hugh the Eleventh. This would be Hugh the Eleventh. I guess we can pretend that two is two ones. Uh, being a talented military tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories on the field of battle. Long live Duke Hugh! All right, fantastic. So we have a new character who has cancer. Oh man, it seems he has inherited his father's cancer. <laughs> He's 38 years old. Uh, I feel like we should go to the barber. Can't see our hairstyle, but I need a beard. Uh, let's do. We went too long without a beard before. Let's do. Let's do that one. Yeah, that's good. Give ourselves a beard. Uh, and why is his name Uck Day? God damn it. That sucks. <laughs> so yeah, that's unfortunate. 
his name used to be Hugh, and then it changed to Uck Day. So, so much for keeping it in the, the hands of the Hughes. Uh, that's quite unfortunate, honestly, guys. That's uh, a shame. And it seems that he is still not in our hands. We, we're going to see if we can't invite him to court. Yeah, he won't accept our offer, so he's going to stay with his, his mom. So that's, that's kind of frustrating. It's because we married somebody outside the realm here, I think. Uh, so that is going to result in... Yeah, that's a real shame. That is going to end up resulting in uh, us not having control of our son again for the second time. Uh, so quite unfortunate. I don't think we can even ask uh, for this guy uh, as our guard. Yeah, they're not going to let us do anything. So that's a shame. Just kind of one of the things with the game, though. Uh, but just looking at our character so we know the way we need to act here. It looks like that's actually the end of the episode as well. We're a brilliant strategist, uh, cavalry leader, and we're uncouth, so grooming and personal care are not priorities for us. We're diligent, chaste, uh, deceitful, and uh, of course we have cancer. Okay, uh, looking at our abilities, of course martial is where we stand out on. Uh, and looking at our children, uh, of course we have two sons and a daughter. Uh, our wife still fat apparently uh, and she uh, is going to stay ruling in her lands here she's a drunkard as well she's got all kinds of problems gluttonous yeah she's got an abundance of issues uh, so we need to obviously get ourselves an ambition uh, we can make a friend become a paragon of virtue uh, become king of Akadwain or acquire a title or become a counselor uh, so yeah all options available to us uh, and then, it's yeah, such a bummer that we didn't get to engage in the crusade, man. And yeah, that's like super frustrating. It's uh, like, it would have been so nice if our character would have died a couple years ago. Uh, so that does mean that we're gonna need to replace some, some uh, characters here. Uh, we're going to need to, um, let me see if there's anything else I need to, to do. Uh, we can change our laws as well. Uh, now that we are, uh, we have a new, new character in power. Uh, so we could change our laws. That's an option. We we'll probably would search for Smith, like I said we were gonna do. Um, obviously, we, we got all of the all the stuff from our father, uh, so some pretty good stuff here. Uh, our current prestige and piety rating are now 190 and 563. Uh, and then um, also, uh, the other thing we need to do is is click a focus uh, ch or select a focus and select an ambition. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what we'll we'll do as this character, honestly. Uh, I think we might focus on war, warfare. I think we've we've had a long period of, of, you know, under a very religious leader. I think it's about time that we look at, look towards expanding our realm, uh, expanding our lands under our new, new son. He wants to make a name for himself, uh, and he's just the age to do so. Uh, so yeah, that might be what we end up doing. It is extremely frustrating that he's not, he's not named Hugh, and it's also really frustrating that we don't have him under our control. That's uh, such a bummer. Uh, and he won't leave either. But remember, once he does come to the throne, uh, we do gain this county. Um, once our our uh, character dies and our son becomes uh, the the new ruler, uh, he will uh, bring us this county. So that'll expand our realm there. Uh, other places we can look at expand into is, of course, the Duke of Barry's lands. Seems that he might have lost uh, county already. So he only has, um, I think he only has, yeah, just these two counties. So we can expand that way. Of course, the Emperor currently holds this county. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to maybe ask him for that. Uh, and yeah, I think that's that's the options, is Duke of Berry or expanding into England, of course, is always an option as well. Uh, just looking at our troop numbers, it's far less than it used to be, so uh, due to the fact that we lost so many troops in that war. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a little while uh, before we're able to, to engage in a conflict. Uh, we have to build our troop numbers back up, but yeah, that is gonna be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, we got a new character, finally. Uh, we're several videos in, and, and we, we lived as that one character for quite a long time. I'm really curious to see if he ends up getting canonized. I'm hoping so. Uh, he died with an insane amount of piety, uh, so maybe uh, it's a possibility that he'll be uh, canonized, uh, which would give us uh, a new bloodline. Uh, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens, guys. But yeah, hope to see you guys on the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys.